Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I don't know if I've properly done a full perfume collection. I think I filmed one last summer and then deleted it because I didn't like the way the camera was set up. I was in my bedroom and I'm just forgetting now there's a couple perfumes in my bathroom that I forgot to bring down here. But either way, we're gonna ignore that. I will tell, tell you guys which perfumes they are when I get to all of these ones first, just so if you guys are actually curious what perfumes I wear and what I like. But um, this is mostly for the purpose of ASMR, and I just love the sound of glass bottles specifically. When people do perfume collections, you always hear a lot of the nails on the glass and it's really relaxing for me, so I'm gonna try to make this as relaxing as possible, but also tell you guys and show you guys my perfumes. Okay, so let's start with the mini ones because I buy a lot of minis before I decide um, if I'm gonna buy the full bottle or not, and these are the ones I have right now for the travel sizes. travels because I haven't unpacked it yet because I just got back from Florida, but the one of the, the one I'm missing is YSL Oh, I don't know what it's called But it's like an orange. It's one of their popular ones. I bought the full size two or three years ago and then Put it on and I hated it and then my girlfriend. I think I gifted my girlfriend one of the perfumes because she liked it and then I smelt it on her and I realized, oh, I think I actually like that. So I bought the size like this. I don't know, it's one of the popular ones. I think it's like, it's like an orange liquid. There's like a gold. Either way, it's like a warm, very like wintry smell. Um, okay, but we're gonna start here. This is Good Fortune Victor Ralph. I got the travel because I love Victor Ralph, one of my favorite perfumes. My staple perfumes is from Victor, but I'm not gonna buy the full size because I like this perfume. It's not my favorite, so. Okay, I have two of these minis. This is the Ariana Grande, oh gosh, God is a Woman, I think it's God is a woman. This is really nice. It's kind of fruity. I brought this one to California last year, so I used most of it. I try to only bring like travel size when I'm going on a plane and whatnot. So I do really like this one, but I never wear it in the spring, summer, or even winter. It's only like I only wear it in the fall. Um, this is replicas. Mason Margiela Autumn Vibes. So that's probably why I only wear it in the fall. Literally smells like you're camping. It smells like leaves. It smells like wood fire. It smells like a, you know, when summer fades away and the cool weather comes. It smells like I love it. It smells just like autumn, but would not be wearing this in the summer or spring. Oh, it's really good though. My mom uses By the Fireplace, and that one's really, really nice. I love that one. Okay. A couple other smaller ones that I'm going to talk about first. Okay. So I have all 
of the mini nest oils. My favorite one is Madagascar Vanilla. Or vanilla. Yeah, vanilla. I got the full size, as you can see. smelling to me and smells fancy, subtle, sweet, warm. It's just something about it that I just can't get enough of and I love the way it smells on my skin particularly. So I got the full size but um, I have the other ones as well like the South Pacific sandalwood is really good, orange one, Indian jasmine, this was gifted to me, but this is Valentino, Voce Viva, Voce Viva, it's okay, but I do like this one, and I've been wanting to get a full size of this one, this has lasted me so long, and I use it often, like surprisingly, more than you would think. This is Burberry Her. It's just so sweet. I like more sweet perfumes, but not like overly sweet. This one's a bit more on the sweeter side, though, than I would usually buy. But it just smells so pretty and like put together. I do want to get the full size of this, maybe this summer. Carolina Herrera. Good girl, I believe. You can't really smell this one unless you spray it, but I was actually, my stepmom gave me this one because she got it gifted to her and she didn't like it. But I've always liked this perfume. Never enough to buy it, I don't think. But it is really good though. This is a really good one. And I do want more Killian perfumes because a lot of them are so luxurious. But this is, I don't need a prince by my side. marshmallows. It's warmer. I got it about three Christmases ago. I still go for it quite often. Not as much as I used to, but yeah, this is very, I feel like, nighttime. It's a gorgeous scent. Gorgeous. I'm so glad that I have that one. Okay. This one's so dusty. You can tell this used to be a favorite of mine back in like, I don't know, 2019, 2020 maybe. I started getting into my fragrance. You know, I started actually buying more and more fragrance. This is just the classic like black opium YSL. It's always a classic. It's really good. It's sexy. I wear it anytime really. That's one of my favorites. But the other day I actually got the newer one that came out, which is the Black Opium Le Parfum Parfum? I don't know But, um, funny because my grandma really likes her Giorgio Armani um, cashmere coat, I think But it's discontinued um, 
So right when I smelled it, I thought I smelled my YSL black opium. I smell this one. This one's like the newer one is just sexier. It's more subtle in a way. It's warmer. I don't know the newer one. If you like like this black opium. You're gonna love, 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 love this one, like, more. I don't know. I just, I'm obsessed with this one. I've been wearing it every day, day and night. All my clothes smell like this right now. Like, I'm obsessed with it. But, um, anyway, back to my story. I thought I smelled right away my original YSL. So, I was like, when we go on our vacation, I'm gonna let you smell it and you see what you think. So, I went for this one, thinking that it was this one sprayed it on her, I sprayed it on me, and I was like, oh my god, why don't I wear my perfume more? Like, that smells amazing. Um, we walked around with it for a bit, and she really, really liked it. Um, so, we got it for her, not even realizing that it's not the original one that I have, it's this new one. So, when I found that out, I, I bought it for myself, too. I needed to. It's just so good, guys. So, so good. Um, but then, sure enough, when I smelled her cashmere coat that's now discontinued, I, um, actually was smelling my OOG, like the one I wear most, 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 which is my Victor Ralph flower bomb. Now I have the original and then I have the ruby. Right now I'm into the ruby, so that's what's on my perfume table. Her cashmere smells more like this than the black opium one that we got her because that's what I thought. I knew I was smelling one of my perfumes and I didn't even realize it was this one. So we didn't even sample this one at the store. So sure enough though, we smelled it, sprayed it on her like days later and then now she's buying this one because it smells more like her cashmere. But she still loves her black opium le perfume. This is a classic for me, like the OG flower bomb I've been wearing for like years on and off. But I think I must have finished my. I've had travel sizes, I've had the full size. I want to get the bigger one once I'm done this one. But yeah, this is just such a good perfume, guys. Oh, I love it. It's very, it's like a sophisticated, sexy, pretty, sweet. Some ones I don't wear as much, but I do still like. This one I got last, last spring. When I made an Abercrombie order, I wanted to smell this perfume number one, Undone. I had good reviews and um, I liked the notes that were, you know, in the description. So I like this one. I wore it a lot in, um, April, May last year, and then I didn't really touch it again, but it's really fresh and clean and, and kind of citrusy, and I think I'm going to definitely start wearing it more um, come April, which is in a few weeks. But I have this one because everyone was talking about it. It's the, um, what's this brand name again? Mung Mungler? Alien, I think. Alien Goddess. Or God Goddess. <laughs> I can't even smell that one. <laughs> I smell like so many perfumes that I can't smell this one anymore. But this one's good. Surprisingly not as good as I thought for some reason. I don't know. I need to smell it. My medical stick.
this was like a blind buy like I bought it thought it was gonna be amazing and I spray it on me and I just I don't know it's not the vibes I was hoping for I guess maybe I'm gonna give this one to a friend or something I don't know okay so this is another replica I'm gonna I want to get all the replicas like I just love the idea of this brand and how they made these perfumes one is, of course, Beach Walk. It's one of the best fragrances they have, in my opinion. I've smelled them all. This one is perfect in the summer. It's perfect for May, June, July, August, September, October even, but um, I'm always wearing this one. You can't even really tell, but in the summer, I'm always <laughs> so, like, clearly last a Sun-kissed salty skin and that's kind of what it smells like actually so it's good I have all of the Brazilian Crush Sol de Janeiro perfumes but this is just the one that was on my little mirror holder that I brought down but my favorite one is the light pink I think it's like jasmine something I got like the lotion for that and, um, the spray all the scents for it I have This perfume I hold close to my heart. This is the Nest New York Golden Nectar. Oh my god, it's just it's so it's so different. I didn't pick this out. My husband picked this out. We both picked out each other's cologne and perfume for the day of our wedding. It was in the summer, so this was a great pick, and I think I used most of that the day of. Like, I wanted to smell like this and only this. Um, so yeah, this always reminds me of that day. I was so nervous. spray this often if we have something special with like romantic couple thing I will use one or two sprays but this will always remember, remind me of my wedding day like this is why we decided to do that because it's just so special and I got to open up the box the day of and smell it for the first time um because everyone was saying it smelled so much like Bacchae Bruges 540 and I never bought, before I bought this one I did not buy Bacchae Rouge yet so I thought this was a really nice perfume, like I loved it loved it, would wear it all the time and then I bought Bacchae Rouge and then I was like, oh my god this doesn't, like it's good and it's similar but there's something so rich about 540 that this just like next to it I guess like if I want to pretend to smell like it <laughs> but the Baccarat Rouge is much fancier and richer than this one but this is still I do still like this perfume okay we have one that I wear I call this one my dentist appointment perfume because I wear Juliet as when I am like sometimes if I go to the gym but not really like I'll just spray one little spritz on my arm but like if I'm going to the dentist doctor appointment going to pick up a prescription or like this is like my days of just chilling at home running errands perfume I know that sounds so silly probably but it just it's 
smells clean and pretty, but nothing else to it. And that's that's all I'm trying to smell like on those days. It's just clean, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's clean. It's nice. I love the bottle. They have a good. They're a really good quality. But yeah, it's my like every day. I don't wear it every day, but it's my like lazy day. Just gotta go get a couple things done. I have nothing to do with like looking sexy or wearing dressing up. This is like I'm usually wearing leggings and a sweater or like something really laid back when I wear this. But it is a classic. I do like it a lot. Okay, last one. Ariana Grande perfume. Another one. This one I really like. This is There's a lot of men like the smell of this one when I wear it. I'm always getting compliments from men, so I guess it's safe to say they like sweeter smells because this one's like probably the sweetest one out of all of them. So if I'm wearing a perfume that's not that sweet, I'll put a, I'll mix a little bit of this in there. It gives it that sweet touch. It's nice. And then upstairs, I have a smaller, the tube size of Tom Ford's tobacco vanilla that I do actually wear in the winter sometimes, or I'll get my husband to wear it because I like it, the smell of it on him. And then I do have the Baccarat Rouge 540, but I want to get the extreme one. I don't know if that's what it's called, but it's just like the dark red bottle. So I'm thinking... Comment down below what kind of role plays and ASMRs you guys want to see from me. I want to start feeling more. So, 